a Georgia Republican Congresswoman, Marjorie Taylor Greene, again getting blasted for some inflammatory comments. She tweeted on President's Day, quote, we need a national divorce. We need to separate by red states and blue states and shrink the federal government. She even says, everyone I talk to says this. Okay. She references woke culture. Julia Manchester, national political reporter for The Hill, joining me right now. You know, it's kind of crazy to think that we are so far removed from the ideal of the United States anymore. I mean, seriously, what, what, what has been the response so far to, to uh, Green? I, I know that Cheney is saying that it's likened to secession. Yeah, Adrian, the last time I think we've heard rhetoric like this was in the 19th century. And we know what happened then. Obviously, the Civil War, um, there was a national divorce and it wasn't good. So to, you know, nearly 200 years later or whatever, to hear Marjorie Taylor Greene talking about that, you know, states dividing is just, you know, honestly remarkable to hear. And I think it shows how on the fringe of the right and maybe on parts of the left, maybe, but on the fringes of both of our parties, parties, how divided our politics are right now. And I have to say, it's a little ironic, Adrian, hearing Marjorie Taylor Greene say that as, you know, a, a, a Republican leader, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis from a red state is traveling to blue states and talking to, red, you know, more Republican voters or conservative voters in those blue states. So it sort of negates what she's saying. But back to your first question in terms of the reaction. Look, I think you're, she's getting a lot of pushback, not only for Democrat, from Democrats, obviously, her chief opponents, but also from members of her Republican Party. And this honestly, you know, creates more of a mess that Speaker Kevin McCarthy has to clean up, has to clean up her comments or respond to the, her comments. I don't think that Republican senators or Republican lawmakers in the House want to be walking the halls of the Capitol and being asked about what they think of these comments from Marjorie Taylor Greene. Well, let's show this other side of the story. There's evidence there's already a split between red and blue. California yeah. has banned state-funded travel to 23 red states, including Florida, in opposition to laws seen as discriminatory. Uh, in California, Washington, New York, Vermont, they've instituted similar bans. Then you've got Florida Governor Ron DeSantis clashing with blue state governors and mayors. He's making a tour of places like Chicago and New York uh, and Los Angeles because of some of their policies. So uh, could one say that Marjorie Taylor Greene is only calling the kettle black? You know, I personally would say that's, you know, maybe a bit of a stretch. I think it's one thing to see the states, you know, making these decisions and implementing these policies and maybe see a red state governor bicker with a blue state governor. I mean, you know, quite frankly, for someone like J.B. Pritzker and Ron DeSantis, both of whom I think it's obvious have presidential ambitions down the line, I'm not particularly that surprised about it. But to see a federal lawmaker who's going to Washington to represent her district in Georgia say those remarks, I think that's what makes it so notable. Because when these lawmakers obviously go to Washington, D.C., they're, rep they're coming together with other lawmakers, whether they're Republican or Democratic lawmakers from, you know, Democratic states or Republican states to implement policy and to make laws. And I don't think, I think a lot of her critics would say that those comments were rather inflammatory and don't do much to bring um, both sides on Capitol Hill together. But I think you're right, Adrian, in pointing out, um, I think her comments kind of reflect mm -hmm. how divided we are right now. Yeah, whether it's Marjorie Taylor Greene, AKA MTG or AOC, inflammatory comments yeah. are gonna keep coming from the Hill. Thank you, Julia. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.